Hey, everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, a big warm welcome. We're so glad you found us, and we're excited to have you join our community of skincare enthusiasts. Before we dive into today's video, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss out on our latest content. Now, let's get into the juicy details of today's video. We're tackling a particularly stubborn pimple that's been causing a bit of a ruckus on our skin. If you've ever wondered about the process of pimple popping and how to do it safely and effectively, you're in the right place. I'll be guiding you through each step, sharing tips, and explaining everything in detail so you can learn and follow along. First off, let's talk about preparation. Preparation is key when it comes to skincare, especially when dealing with extractions. We start by cleansing the skin thoroughly to ensure that the area is free from dirt, oil, and other impurities. I'm using a gentle, non-comedogenic cleanser here, which is perfect for preparing the skin without causing irritation or disrupting the skin's natural barrier. This step helps prevent potential infections and makes the extraction process smoother. Once the skin is clean, it's time to prepare for the extraction. We'll be using sterilized tools to ensure everything is as hygienic as possible. It's incredibly important to use clean and sanitized instruments to avoid introducing any bacteria or causing further issues. If you're attempting this at home, always make sure your tools are properly cleaned and sterilized before use. With everything in place, we can start the extraction process. For those who might be new to this, the goal is to gently release the sebum and debris trapped within the pore. I'll be applying gentle pressure around the pimple to help express the contents. You might see some white or yellowish material, this is the sebum, which is a combination of oil and dead skin cells that can clog pores and lead to blemishes. As we proceed, I'll explain each step in detail. You'll see how the material is gradually expelled, and I'll discuss why it's important to avoid applying too much pressure. Overly aggressive extractions can lead to skin damage, scarring, or even more breakouts. So, gentle and precise pressure is the way to go. After we've completed the extraction, it's time to focus on post-care. Proper aftercare is crucial to ensure that the skin heals correctly and to minimize any potential redness or irritation. I'll be applying a soothing toner to help balance the skin's pH and calm any inflammation. A hydrating moisturizer will follow to keep the skin hydrated and support the healing process. Depending on your skin type, you might also want to apply a calming serum or spot treatment to further reduce inflammation. During the healing phase, it's important to avoid using harsh products or scrubbing the area. Instead, stick to gentle, non-irritating products that will help your skin recover. I'll be sharing some additional tips on how to care for your skin post-extraction and how to incorporate these practices into your daily skincare routine. Preparation Before we get started, preparation is crucial. We begin by thoroughly cleansing the skin. I'm using a gentle, non-comedogenic cleanser to remove dirt, oil, and impurities. This step is essential because starting with a clean face helps minimize the risk of introducing bacteria into the skin. A good cleanser will clean without stripping the skin of its natural oils, which can lead to dryness and irritation. After cleansing, we'll apply a warm compress to the area. The warmth helps to open up the pores, making it easier to extract the pimple. We'll leave the compress on for about 5 to 10 minutes to ensure it's effective. If you're doing this at home, you can use a clean washcloth soaked in warm water. Just be sure it's not too hot to avoid burning the skin. Extraction Process Now, on to the extraction itself. We're using sterilized tools to ensure everything is as hygienic as possible. This is incredibly important to avoid introducing bacteria and causing further issues. If you're using tools at home, make sure they're properly cleaned and sterilized before use. For the extraction, we'll gently apply pressure around the pimple. You might see some white or yellowish material coming out, this is sebum, a combination of oil and dead skin cells that clog the pore. We're aiming to be as gentle as possible to avoid damaging the surrounding skin. Overly aggressive extraction can lead to scarring and inflammation, so it's crucial to apply just the right amount of pressure. Post-extraction care. Once we've completed the extraction, the next step is post-care, which is key to ensuring proper healing. First, we'll clean the area again to remove any remaining debris and reduce the risk of infection. 
Then, I'll apply a soothing toner to help balance the skin's pH and calm any redness. Look for toners with calming ingredients like chamomile or witch hazel. After toning, we'll apply a hydrating moisturizer. Keeping the skin hydrated is essential for healing. I recommend using a lightweight, non-comedogenic moisturizer that won't clog pores. Products containing ingredients like hyaluronic acid can help keep the skin moisturized without causing additional breakouts. For additional care, consider applying a spot treatment with ingredients like benzoyl peroxide or salicylic acid to help reduce inflammation and prevent future breakouts. Be sure to follow the product instructions and avoid over-applying, as this can lead to dryness and irritation. General Skin Care Tips While today's focus is on pimple popping, maintaining overall skin health is crucial for preventing future blemishes. Here are some additional tips. Maintain a balanced diet, eating a diet rich in fruits, vegetables, and whole grains can support healthy skin. Avoid excessive sugar and dairy, as they may contribute to breakouts for some people. Stay hydrated, drinking plenty of water helps keep your skin hydrated and flushes out toxins. Aim for at least 8 glasses a day. Follow a consistent skincare routine, use a gentle cleanser, exfoliate regularly, but not too often, and apply sunscreen daily. Exfoliating one to two times a week can help remove dead skin cells and prevent clogged pores. Avoid touching your face. Touching your face with dirty hands can transfer bacteria and oil, leading to breakouts. Try to keep your hands away from your face as much as possible. Post-extraction care, healing and recovery. Once we've finished the extraction, it's crucial to take care of the skin to promote healing and minimize any irritation. Here's how we'll proceed. Clean the area, gently cleanse the area again to remove any remaining debris. Use a mild, non-irritating cleanser to avoid further irritation. Apply a toner, we'll use a soothing toner to help balance the skin's pH and reduce redness. Look for toners with ingredients like witch hazel, chamomile, or aloe vera, which have calming properties. Apply the toner with a cotton pad, gently patting it onto the skin. Moisturize, next, we'll apply a hydrating moisturizer. A good moisturizer will keep the skin hydrated and support the healing process. I recommend using a lightweight, non-comedogenic moisturizer to avoid clogging pores. Products containing hyaluronic acid are excellent for hydration without causing breakouts. Spot treatment, if you're prone to breakouts, consider applying a spot treatment with active ingredients like benzoyl peroxide or salicylic acid. These ingredients can help reduce inflammation and prevent future breakouts. Be sure to follow the product instructions and avoid over-applying, as this can dry out the skin. Sun protection, although not always necessary immediately post-extraction, daily sun protection is crucial. Apply a broad-spectrum sunscreen with at least SPF 30 to protect your skin from UV damage, which can exacerbate scarring and pigmentation issues. Additional skincare tips, maintaining healthy skin. To keep your skin healthy and reduce the likelihood of future breakouts, here are some additional tips. Exfoliation, regular exfoliation helps remove dead skin cells and prevent clogged pores. However, avoid over-exfoliating, as this can irritate the skin and lead to more breakouts. One to two times a week is typically sufficient. Diet and hydration, eating a balanced diet rich in fruits, vegetables, and whole grains supports overall skin health. Hydrate by drinking plenty of water to keep your skin plump and flush out toxins. Avoid touching your face. Touching your face with dirty hands can transfer bacteria and oils, leading to breakouts. Try to keep your hands away from your face and always clean your phone screen regularly, as it can harbor bacteria. Skincare routine. Stick to a consistent skincare routine that includes cleansing, toning, moisturizing, and sun protection. Tailor your routine to your skin type and concerns for the best results. Comprehensive skincare advice for radiant skin. Taking care of your skin is essential for both appearance and overall health. A well-rounded skincare routine helps maintain a clear complexion, prevent premature aging, and boost confidence. Here's an in-depth guide to help you achieve and maintain beautiful, healthy skin. 1. Understanding your skin type. The first step in creating an effective skincare routine is understanding your skin type. Here's a brief overview. 
Normal skin, balanced in terms of moisture and oil production, with few imperfections. Oily skin, characterized by excess oil production, leading to a shiny appearance and potential...